Our guest anchor sitting in tonight is a name familiar to Oregonians. Jack Oman is a Pulitzer Prize winning political cartoonist. He was at the Oregonian until 2012 when he left for the Sacramento Bee. And we are fortunate he is back in town this weekend joining us as guest anchor sitting in. Welcome to the KGW Late News. Thank you so much. How are you? I'm good. You know, you and I have done Straight Talk Show before years ago. And we used to joke that it would be fun to have you as a co-anchor because you had the perfect anchor hair, right? I think so, yeah. <laughs> so here's your chance. Are, well, are you ready for this? I'm so ready. Okay, well, the first story is about a bar of its closing. After 25 years in business, a Portland tavern is shutting its doors for good. Lompoc Tavern on Northwest 23rd will close September 26th. It's Lompoc's original pub that opened in 1993. It moved locations six years ago, and owners say, in the time it was closed for the move, many of their late night customers found new places to go and never returned. A new pub is moving into this spot. Lompoc still has three other pubs and their brewery, which will remain open. You were here for a lot of years. Did you go to Lompoc? Well, I was single in my 40s. Absolutely, <laughs> I went to Lompoc. Maybe when you left, uh, the business went with you. Uh, yeah, I don't drink anymore. <laughs> well, we have another, another story for you. And I know you have a wide array of um, anchor voices. So do you think Walter Cronkite would tell us about flying goats? <laughs> the Oregon Zoo tonight is helping take care of some orphan goats. These kids were brought here from the Olympic National Park. Wildlife officials are relocating them to the Cascades, which is their native habitat. And then you want me to do it as David Brinkley? Oh, sure, David oh, Brinkley. okay. You may have seen video of the relocation effort. Some of the goats were flown by a helicopter out of the Olympic Peninsula. And it's quite the sight. It is. <laughs> the kids were brought to the Oregon Zoo don't have mothers, so they'll get care here and then head to other zoos. What about um, Ted Koppel? Experts say goat kids without parents have a better chance when they're raised by humans. Nicely done. Oh, you know? Thank you. As Walter Cronkite would say, that's the way it is, right? Yeah. And that is the way it is. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a Pulitzer Prize winner actually co-anchor the news. So this is a <laughs> real <you>. treat. <laughs> yeah. A real treat. You know, when you won the Pulitzer Prize in 2016, we have some of the cartoons to show. How did you, how do you get inspired to do all these cartoons? We're showing a few of them. Well, by, by salary, number one, <laughs> this is my, my job. Um, well, you know, it, it's an eventful era that we're living in. And so that was, uh, I have to do five of these a week. And um, like you, I'm a professional and I sit down and do my job and that's how we do it. Well, we have another picture of you at the ceremony when you, when you got your award, right. got the Pulitzer. And uh, there's someone else that's uh, fairly well known with you on the stage. Well, one of my friends who also won the Pulitzer Prize said it was the Lynn Manuel Miranda prizes with some other people. Um, it, it was kind of a funny story. I, I, we're not supposed to speak at this, but like I leaned over to the president of Columbia and I said, well, you know why I won the Pulitzer, right? And he said, no. And I said, it's because my middle name is Hamilton. Is it really? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh my goodness, it was the Hamilton Award. It totally was. Hey, and there's Lynn ignoring there me. There is Lynn yeah. ignoring you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he was lucky to be on stage with you. You know, you moved to California and when you moved to California, you didn't even have to remember another governor's name. No, I and, f and I went to high school with the Oregon Governor Brown in Minnesota in 1978. And now you have Jerry Brown. And we have Jerry Brown, governor. right, who's 174 years old now. <laughs> I know, he was governor when I was right. there in the 70s. <laughs> hey, we'd love for you to draw a cartoon of the two Governor Browns, so maybe you could do that during weather, but part of your job as co-anchor is to toss, here's Brian Brennan in for Matt, to toss to Brian and ask him about the weather. Watch me pivot. I know this must be exciting for See you. the pivot? Yeah. That was a good pivot. Very good. Brian, why do we hear so much about Chehalis in the weather? Chehalis, yeah. well, it's a town. No, I know. The north of us, <laughs> and they all, <laughs> and sometimes they got weather. They got hit by a big thunder shower today. We had a few. It wasn't really all that eventful um, today, with the exception of up north along the I-5 corridor. Got a couple good thunder showers. As we look out tonight, it looks like the showers have virtually ended. You might even see the formation of some fog overnight and into early tomorrow morning, but otherwise pretty calm out there. It was a really nice day. We topped out out in the low 70s. Let's take a look at the high temperatures today. Gorgeous weather. 
Uh, again, just a few scattered sprinkles here and there in the mid 60s on the coast and mid 70s to upper 70s for high temperatures across central and eastern Oregon. It was a nice day with lots of sun, then the clouds started coming in. Thank you very much for Cruiser Corner on your Twitter feed there, posting that and tweeting it to us. We really appreciate that. So things you need to know for this weekend, we are going to see increasing showers tomorrow, but the first half of tomorrow actually looks really nice with a mix of some sun and clouds. So try to enjoy that first half of the day. We'll have chances for thunder and then Moving into the work week, it's going to be gorgeous. I'm sorry that that couldn't be over the course of your weekend, but the work week next week looks great. We're in the upper 50s right now. Little chill in the air, 57 degrees in Salem. You can see just cloud cover here. The showers kind of dissipated after the sun uh, went down below the horizon. The atmosphere lost uh, too much energy there. You can see the showers uh, right off the coast. Again, we're pretty calm tonight. We're going to wait until this disturbance comes in tomorrow before the showers really start ramping up. I think in the Willamette Valley, uh, we'll be looking after about 5 p.m. Of course, Florin Florence is continuing to drop heavy rainfall there on the East Coast, and that'll be uh, continuing through the day tomorrow before eventually moving inland. Upper 60s this weekend, showers really picking up again later in the day tomorrow, so a lot of your Saturday looks good. We might have a thunderstorm, especially for the coast. Um, I think the thunder chance goes into the Willamette Valley for your Sunday and as we move into the work week mid 70s sunshine really looks great. You're done with your cartoons already. This guy is what so did you good think? and he's got a tie on. Yeah. I know where's yes. your tie? You didn't bring your anchorman tie. <laughs> well, let's see your cartoons. Here we go. These are great. Has brown Kate brown. brown ever seen you draw her before? Uh, in high school. <laughs> in high school. <laughs> yes, well, I'll be sure that she gets this and here is, is Jerry Brown. So uh, thank you so much for sitting oh, in as guest anchor. Always a pleasure. You know, I'll wear this, a tie uh, next time. Cartooning gig doesn't work out for you. You know, there's always Anchorman. Great. I need a million six. <laughs> and you've got fantastic hair. And thank you very much. One more job for you. You have to toss to Friday Night Flights. Stick around next. Friday Night Flights is next.